Welcome to Doing It With David. My name is David Whittison. I work for the Weber County Utah 4-H program, and I'm creating a set of videos on simple projects that you can do at home with things that you have. So today we are going to make pine cone bird feeders. And so the things that you'll need are some pine cones, some peanut butter, some bird seed, and some string and some wire. It's basically all that you need for this project. So first thing is you need to get some pine cones. So I went out and picked up some pine cones off the grass and uh, from different types of pine trees. And they're kind of closed up as you can see. And that is really hard for you to put some peanut butter in because there's not any space in there for you to put stuff. And so I took the pine cones, I put them on a tray, put them in the oven at 400 degrees for about 15, 20 minutes. And lo and behold, the pine cones then opened up and that gave us lots of good space that we can put the peanut butter and birdseed in. So that's a fun activity to do as well, is watching those pine cones open up as they're in the oven, as the heat is forcing the pine um, cones to spread apart. So then you take some peanut butter, and get a nice big spoonful of it, and take your pine cone and you just spread that peanut butter through all of that open space there on your pine cone. And just as it's important for us to eat healthy, um, eat good snacks and food so we can be strong and not get sick, it's also important for the wildlife to do. And so this is a good healthy snack that we can feed the birds. And so spread your peanut butter on your pine cone there and then you take your little bowl that has your bird seed in it and you just roll that pine cone around in the bird seed and then press it down just ever so slightly to get the good bird seed to stick onto the pine cone. Then you can put that on your plate and then take your string or your some wire and about three feet or so of it so I just have some simple floral wire here and get about three feet or so of it. Take your snippers, snip off the wire, and then we just want to attach it to the base of the pine cone. And that is really easy to do of just wrapping the wire around the very base where it's still up a little closed and pull it nice and tight and then just give it a twist. Cross your wires, twist your pine cone a few times. That secures the wire in place. If you're using string, um, you can tie a knot, like a square knot, and that could be another episode that we can do in the future is, is showing different knots and how to tie them and what their uses are. Anyway, so now you're basically done. So you have your pine cone here with your bird seat on it. Looks like we've got a little stick on that too. You can pull that off and hang that up in your tree and then the birds can come and eat that and that's another fun activity is watching the birds eat from your pine cone or just sit in your tree and listen to them sing so um, i challenge you to think about what else can you do with these pine cones that you've collected you know the back of them have that pretty design oh gosh that kind of looks like flower petals i wonder if you could paint these ends and make them look like a flower that might be something um, you know, and like this, kind of the shape of a person or something, you know, if you cut out some googly, some eyes and a nose and, and taped them on there, make a little person, you know, just all sorts of fun things that you can do. So I challenge you to be creative and see what else you can do with the pine cones that you've collected. Then take a little brother or sister or friend that you have and teach them how to make their own pine cone bird feeder as well and um, have fun with it. And life all is about enjoying this journey that we're on. So I hope that you enjoyed the journey with me today on learning how to make a pine cone bird feeder. And I hope to see you soon. So take care and have a great day.